So Kevin, what are your feelings at the end of that one? Um, of course, naturally disappointed that we've lost our home match after having four away games on the bounce, undefeated. Um, had some good performances, showed everything to, to get those results in the away game. And we was all looking forward to coming back here to the first crowd uh, on a Tuesday night. And, you know, disappointed. Um, just disappointed in the manner of the defeat. Um, you know, I, I accept that we ain't going to win every football match from now to the end of the season. We're, we're realistically probably going to lose one. Uh, that's our fifth loss all season. So, you know, still a fantastic record. Um, but it was just the, the manner of the defeat that's, that's annoyed me because I didn't, didn't see that coming at this stage of the season. Um, so, you know, I've made it very clear to them. I've made my feelings very clear. And now it's down to them. You know, we will prepare them again. We'll give them everything they need uh, from now to the end of the season going into every game. Um, so it's down to them now as individuals to prepare themselves mentally. It was more mentally tonight than physically um, to be prepared for the challenge that lies ahead. And that is Hyde on Saturday. Um, you know, it's... The disappointing thing for me is, you know, they pretty much got nothing to play for and they wanted it more than us tonight. And that for me is not good enough. And I made it very clear to them. So I've told them they need to get together, they need to regroup. If that takes, they have to have a meeting behind locked doors, iron it out because we're in still in an incredible position, but that can't happen again this season. Uh, so credit, credit to them. You know, I thought they played well. They deserve to win the football match. You know, we did create opportunities on another day. You know, we might have taken them, and it might have been a bit different. But you know, it's just the manner of the defeat. You know, we got ourselves into a lead, and you know, we get to half time, and we always say that teams are going to come out firing, and you know, to to concede the way we did, the tackles. You know, they just wanted it more than us, and that for me is not good enough. You said it can't happen again. Is this the sort of thing that you hope like there's a, a wake up call? Yeah, and these is a wake up call. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it just shows you. You know, to. I say it every week, and people are probably fed up with me saying it, but you know, teams raise their levels, especially at this stage. You see, people want to try and spoil the party, and we have to stand up to that. We've got enough characters in that dressing room that should be able to deal with it, and we didn't tonight. Um, so, you know, they need to have a look at themselves. We'll have a look at ourselves. You know, could we have done anything different? Um, but you know, from my experience, having been in promotion, chasing teams at this stage of the season, it's about how you individually prepare and mentally, because uh, they'll be well prepared tactically and collectively going into games, uh, but now it's about you standing up, ready for the fight, ready for the battle, because we know that our football, you know, the way we can play, you know, will we'll hurt teams. So, yeah, disappointed to lose a football match, but I'm not going to be all doom and gloom, you know, I've you know, got to urge everyone. I felt a, there was a lot of negativity in and around me, in and around the crowd tonight, which, you know, is understandable, but, you know, I say, get behind the team now. We need you more than ever, not the negativity. We're all disappointed, we're all hurting. But I have to be positive because I've got to pick those players up now and go to Hyde on Saturday to get a result. And if we go there all doom and gloom, I've got no chance. I won't let that happen. So I'm urging everyone to get behind the team, support them, and let's get down to Hyde and put in a, a performance. You have to remember as well, we only lost five games all season. We're still in a really healthy position at the top of the yeah. table. So is it important to sort of retain the faith in what you've been doing all season? 100%. You know, it's, as I say, you're going to lose a football match. It's just the manner that we lost in it. And, you know, it's unlike us. Um, you know, we were fantastic at the weekend in terms of our spirit, you know, fighting back battle qualities. Um, tonight we just couldn't go again. It's one of those, you know, it just it happens in football. Um, I guarantee they'll go and get beat again. It was a Matlock situation, we draw there and they get beat 4 1. The teams play, they raise their levels, and you know, FC have done the double over us this season, and fair play to them. You know, they played well tonight, uh, they got some good players. Um, but it's just the manner of the goals we can see, you know, from the set play as well, the corner, that, that hasn't happened. You know this season, so you know disappointed for that. It's just a matter of it, um, but we'll bounce back. We always do. And the challenge is now Saturday. How go with the second place team in the league? Is, it, is that in many ways the ideal sort of game to try and bounce back in? Yeah, I said to them there. You know, it's it, it, the beauty of this league. You know, you may got to wait three days to put it right. If we go down there and get a result in tonight, you know, it doesn't doesn't come into consideration. You know, it'd be a fantastic response. So I'm looking for that. And generally this season when we have a, a little setback, we've always responded and, you know, I expect no different at the weekend. You know, teams will probably look at that now and think, is that the start of the, the downfall from Shields? No, it isn't. No chance. I won't let that happen. And I, I know for a fact those players in there won't let it happen. We'll be prepared Saturday. 
uh, to go down and fight. You first and foremost fight, battle, and then you know on a good surface, obviously 3G. You know we'll play our football.